Healers and welcome back to XCOM 2 A War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rise of the Robots campaign. <clears throat> it is a time for the Advent Black side. Sooner than later you will get to play the Advent Black side. Or sooner or later you will get to play the Advent Black side and this is rather sooner than later. Unfortunately the Doom Clock ran to full. We're currently not capable due to the lack of really soldiers that could help us with covert ops missions to reduce the advent timer hence we gotta do the advent black side that'll put a stop to the advent project for i think three or four weeks and then it'll um, take up again enough time in between to at least give us kind of that break that we need uh, to get to uh, europe and the eastern americas so that we can uh, have another uh, factory there that we could raid. Anyways, before we go too deep into it, let's take a look at uh, what we can and cannot do. XQ6 and True Rebel are on the mission and so is Hogbite. We have equipped everybody the last time. You can see with the newly upgraded armor, they do not only look, uh, look slick as hell, they also have a second slot which is perfect plus many many more hit points so let's get this rolling on an unrelated note good to know is that we're most likely not going to encounter the chosen here because we just killed her in the last mission meaning that this might as well be a walk in the park all right guess who has landed damn right it's XCOM we landed on high ground there is a huge facility ahead of us and uh, this here is the black side. So we have a lot of high ground to play with and we got five soldiers, which is even better. We got concealment, so we don't need to break that right away. And we got upgraded guns, plus a lot of motivation to take out our anger issues on the aliens. So. What better way to do that than to simply move up and hopefully spot a couple of them. That seems reasonable. All right. Gosh, Hogbite has a lot of hit points. I love it. This here would explode nicely if we were to blow it up. By the way, we got some nice battle scanners as well. That'll be totally useful for later. For now, let's try to Good copy. Moving on target. get onto that high ground there. Okay. Headed there now. Hogbite is following up. And our mech might as well just stick with the team. As long as they don't move, they will not be detected, which is fantastic. You can use them to scout out quite a bit. And even if Advent openly sees them, they will ignore them for the most part. That's the first pack. That's the first enemy patrol they block our way to high uh, to the high ground which i do not appreciate really so let's reposition on this high ground here might look like a bit of a defensive maneuver but trust me It will be helpful. All right, Overwatch. See, as if I would have thought about that beforehand. There's another patrol. Hogbite would spot both of them out. So we gotta be careful here. Yeah, 
And now it's time for some repositioning on top of the high ground here. Got it. Like I mentioned before, we don't want to spot really anyone out. Meaning also I really don't want to spot anyone inside the building out. So I rather would like to move to here. Russ can take this position. You already know that that's a non-competed position and uh, that would probably Yeah, we probably would be spotted out if we were to move there. Let's move to here. That should not spot anyone out. Okay, and we're overwatching. <clears throat> want to fight only one pack at a time. You can already see that there are multiples patrolling. Which brings me to our missing blue screen rounds. Imagine with blue screen rounds that those mechs would be one shots. So that would be just fantastic. On close gates. All right, we got a mimic beacon here. I would, I wouldn't mind if he could be our last unit that we're taking any action with. Position confirmed just so that we do have that kind of as a last resort, so to speak. Heading to that location. Spark moves up as well, and we're finally having the high ground that we were looking for. Sometimes you gotta do a bit of back and forth before you can actually get that sort of position that you were looking for. Got a very nice overwatch here. Okay, so they are probably behind or have moved to here. Both of these options are fine by me. Good, we definitely have a shot. And I'd like to start with a Viper, if possible. Nice. It cannot dodge shots from concealment. Can't fully move there. Can use our gun and that's pretty much it. Not the best proposition. All right, first things first, the mech needs to die, the enemy mech that is. And one of the ways to ensure that is to shred it and then afterwards kill it. There we go. All right, <clears throat> this is most likely not the best shot, but a 50-50 to kill it, which is still good enough. And true rebel will take an overwatch. I was wrong, we're going to face another chosen, this time the hunter. 
Oh, okay. Well, I learned something today, which is even if you have killed her on the previous mission, in the black side, she has 100% appearance, right? Well, let's get down to business then. When they get back to base, we'll have to give our soldiers some time to heal. Mentally Look at that. By the way, we have upgraded to advanced troopers now. They are strong enough to withstand our shots. Almost got him. Almost. Good, let's start collecting focus. We might pull another pack, which is why we do the whole hog bite action first. Oh wow, frame drop. I don't know what is happening. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for that, but yeah. That was certainly not intended. Moving a bit closer. Again, we want to shred this guy. Nice little hit. And let's continue to kill it. Fantastic hit. Like it, like it a lot. Putting up a solid fire line here. We're putting a parry up and we're still putting up an overwatch. So the chosen moves in. She started behind back here. First round, and she's not here yet. If anything, she's potentially back here. That's a negative. Overwatch, reload Overwatch, and we don't need to reload because we have an auto loader. Second round, she's going to come pretty close, so I would assume somewhere around here. All right. Well, now there is a tr uh, high likelihood that she's somewhere in the proximity here. Come on, really? Alright, she was clever, she positioned herself out of the main area. Perfect, we're, oh, we're just in range, that is so good. Good, let's overdrive. Let's overdrive. I think we're going to be a bit careful with not wasting anything.
All right, let's shred her. That's one. Could use his gun for a second tread. There we go. Is your fear so great you must rely on these soulless constructs? Still trying to taunt us. Isn't working. Moving up. Still high ground. Still very nice hits that we're landing. Not yet in kill range. Let's make sure that we kill her 100% with 100% chance. I want to keep the rocket launcher. I am with you. A little bit greedy. But that's going to work as well. You will share in my pain. And finally, that's the kill shot. Nice. All right. So much for the by far strongest enemy on this map. We found her out. And boy, she was paying for her treacherous behavior. What an interesting group. All right, that's 100% kill. Let's start with that and see if we trigger another pack. Very good. Good, we got two more of the sectors. Moving up. We don't need a mimic beacon for them. Good, Russ here takes a high ground. And let's zoom in on one of them. Yep, he takes the full brunt of our hate. There we go. And we can even stay here. No reason to leave our position. Good, we know another pack is in here, that's fine. So far we have been blasting pretty much through all of uh, the enemies. Reload, it can only state how great the autoloaders are. We were lucky to find them. Preserves a lot of momentum for us. True Rebel begins to move up, just like everyone else does. We had destroyed three patrols. There might be a fourth one some, uh, somewhere. All right, Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. And just for good measure, 
full cover in Overwatch. All right, two more rounds and then our overdrive is back. So I'm not particularly keen on not particularly keen on uh, using that now. The tower, however, will be a nuisance, uh, nuisance if we are not taking care of it. Might as well use the rocket. There we go. That's a tower down. All right, blue movements first, as always. Maintaining this area. I'm on it. Scanning. Niels geht nichts. Good. Moving to designated. Again, taking. Good cover spots, left and right. Moving to position. This here is a good spot so that we can watch the door and watch to the right. This here is full cover so you cannot watch or oh, look over it. Also, I already prepared this for next round. We can take a high ground here if needed for a nice little flanking. That's the advantage of um, traversing to high ground so easily. All right, let's potentially pull them. Good, that's exactly what we were looking for. We did not trigger anyone. Okay, fair enough. Moving up here. Hogbite moves up. Yeah, I don't really know if there's another tower up here. Might as well check and then come back. Okay, we're just going to go on Overwatch up here. And we can drop down either here, here, or through the window there. So that high ground is pretty valuable. Everyone else is on Overwatch. We pretty much know that there is a pack downstairs. Yeah, and that's the, the that's where the pack is at. All right. True Rebel will move last. It's a perfect time for an overdrive. Moving up here. Shredding the mech. Yeah, let's kill the mech. Target neutralized. Target neutralized. 
this might as well pull another pack so I want to do it early it does not we're moving in to full cover over here that's 50-50 this guy pretty nice shot good job buddy might as well take this beautiful grenade did we actually kill him okay cool and we also destroyed loot that was of course not so good we already reloaded with uh true rebel so might as well reload because now there are no further free reloads and we're overwatching another parry and there's one more pack usually kind of behind the target position confirmed. oh so you're telling me we're just one field shy Good. we're continuing to take the high ground here very valuable 50 50 on that trooper we're getting a free reload to bet we do not have that cover removal anymore and the free reload from the autoloader allows us to now take a better position in full cover and take shots so you can see how over time it really pays out to have those auto loaders. XQS six again moves up here, taking some more high ground. How about we're amplifying? Good, we still got voltage if needed. 50-50 on this trooper. It's a nice little termination and we got a promotion on top of it. And this could be a kill. I amplified, for the love of God, why do you execute him? Well. I won't complain, it was a pretty damn good shot. Good, moving up. And there is still one pack that I was talking about earlier. can one shot the sectoid again cool fortunately now we need to reload it's killing time. good another free reload thanks to the autoloader I will stop advertising how great that is I'm really happy that we installed them Yeah, can't hit them here. That's a bit too far drawn out. Order 
All right, Russ moves into half cover. Can barely see them. Let's try to get the trooper. It's a pretty good hit. And it removed the cover. Alright, moving up. Because next round we want to engage actively. XUS 6 moves up, sees the target but does not see the group. Do I really care about the sector? Probably not. Good, we're parrying. It's almost too clustered up. Which is why I'm going over here and let's place a Mimic Beacon right in their line of sight. Overwatch and that might even be a kill. Nope, just a normal hit but still good enough. I think Beacon is very strong. It always has been, and it still is. Meanwhile, the spark moves down. And let's try to shred this guy. Ooh, that will even shred it more. Love it. Here we go. Moving up to get that nice proximity bonus. And that's a kill on the, uh, on the spark. This here is just to get more promotions. And I'm pretty sure that, well, that was the last pack. Oh, oh wow, yeah, I forgot the loot. Well, good job, Psycho. Well done. Moving to here. Let's use everyone else to go, go, go. go closer and closer to the evac zone. One, two. Three. And the spark. I will sense in disturbance. Good. What we want to do is we really want to take the high ground back here. So just in case that reinforcements are coming, we want to be sure that we can take them on. And I think the closer way is just through this door and out. No one was slipped past. Good. 
Let's get into position. Max stays up there. Russ moves up. Yep, very good, very good, very good. So, Overwatch, Reload Overwatch, Reload Overwatch, Reload Overwatch, let's take this. And not very surprisingly, we're seeing reinforcements. Very nice. So that's a double move. And I would guess we're at least being able to take a couple of overwatch shots against these guys. There we go. All right, one down. Good. Shortly after they landed, they are already down. Good. We can extract everybody. There is no need for us to stay here any longer. Already got all of the promotions. Very nice. Gone, 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 gone. And gone. And that was a clean black side mission. Plus we even defeated the assassin once more. Lovely. Good. Let's take a look at the big fat promotions because that's what we were looking for. Of course, most of our rookies cannot be promoted. And unfortunately, he's now in the Shaken territory. That is not good. But we got a lot of points. Holy shit. All right, sustain is good. I love it. It's not Blade Storm, but it is something. We are definitely going for Deep Focus. Yes, please. That is good. We're going for Reflect. Yes, that is fantastic. We're going for Sustain, because why not? And I like the idea of invert because sometimes that gives you good tactical options and good follow-up. I'm almost considering Aftershock as well, but normally he's the one finishing the enemies, not starting. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to leave the points for now. There are two more abilities here and there's always a chance for good old um, Bladestorm. As for the mech, a lot of uh, you prior to this run have been asking how should I uh, skill the mech and there's really no fully right way of skilling uh, them. Here's a couple of things uh, to consider. 
You need to understand or uh, need to make up your mind what you want to get out of the Mac from your perspective. Um, right off the bat, you have kind of the tanking versus the more damage oriented uh, build. The adaptive aim portion I always like because um, you do not create kind of recoil penalties when uh, when you are moving, nor are you having problems with uh, when overdrive is active. There is a, um, a stacking negative penalty, which means that the follow-up shots are more or less likely to hit. On the other hand, a bonus point in armor um, is fantastic. And the high cover isn't bad either, because it means that someone can theoretically hide behind uh, the spark and still take cover. However, in reality, the cover part, I would always be careful, because explosives are a thing, and if you cluster up too tightly without knowing when to do so, that could bite you into uh, in the ass. For now, for this... Uh, uh, specific spark we're going to go with adaptive aim because I want it to be a sort of mobile damage dealer and we're going to give it enough um, defensive abilities later down so black side vial is officially ours we got another repeater which is fantastic and we now reduce the avatar pros project by two plus put a stop on it which is even better the aliens are relaying a form of encryption beyond anything we've ever encountered good we got another negative trait currently they are stacking so fear of the chosen and chance to hunker down in the defensive posture after the first move action that's a pretty bad trait see that's the issue he's now out of uh, the game for 18 days we've just overdone it with hogbite uh, he had so many missions and we were relentlessly putting him in and in and in and in 12 missions by now i think he was almost on all of the missions with the exception of one and not only is he MVP in kills, but yeah, the negative traits are now ramping up. So it's time to get some more additional soldiers so that the load can be more evenly carried amongst everyone. Short question here. We can theoretically get squad size 2. We just need the supplies. That's great to know. Perfect. So we don't need additional intel. Yeah, we're we're going with the current squad size. We wait for even more supplies to ramp up. And we need more intel. That's a given as well. So maybe that additional new intel is a good idea. Perfect. Those two will bond together going forward. Fantastic. Let's see what else do we have. Can't do this mission. Can't do this mission. Intel isn't bad. And it's the only mission that we can do currently. So before we do that though, let's do the bonding here. Commander, each of our soldiers has a unique relationship with their squad mates. Wonderful. If they complete combat missions together, their compatibility will grow. We got another bond between two rookies. Gives them at least one more ability, so it isn't that bad. And Hayward and Toxic continue to kind of run those cover, uh, covert ops missions. I like the idea of them, even if they get wounded, that doesn't matter, of them collecting some more intel. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Takes some time, but we'll get some additional intel, so that's fine.
enough to essentially make a connection. Good, perfect. We got ourselves Gauss weapons. So the Helix, uh, Helix Rail Cannon is what we were looking for. That's uh, the weapon for our Sparks. Got a couple of additional uh, weapons on top of it. Okay, Alien Encryption, which would uh, gi um, give us the Shadow Chamber so that we can continue research there. Probably not the worst idea to do it, but I mentioned beforehand that we first of all want These to get robots. better ammunition. Blue screen rounds is a must going forward. Once the heavy mechs are coming in, I would definitely like to have that. And that will force our hand. The hunter leads uh, this mission. Yeah, this will definitely force our hand. Okay. We might finish making contact because we're almost done and then we're flying down there. And uh, let's take a look at our potential soldiers. We already know that Hogbite cannot join us. So we're going to take Primos and four rookies. <laughs> yeah, that's not the best team that I could imagine. In terms of supplies, we got 127 supplies. Five more days until this year is completing. The skull check would be a nice next step. 100 supplies, I would keep them so that we can build the tower. I mean, we could theoretically take another Mimic Beacon if we so desired. Uh, we're going to upgrade the Helix Cannon. It's just too good to not do that. Yep, gotta get money somewhere else, uh, but I want the Helix Cannon to be upgraded. That will give us a massive um, boost on the Spark and any further spark that we're building. We still got lots and lots here. We got seven cores. So just looking at the sparks, yes, we will need alloys and crystals, that's fine. But maybe we can get a, another spark going relatively soon. So that's one way of investing the resources, another one would definitely be the reinforced upgrade here. Kind of costs the same resources. We got to get alien alloys and crystals. So maybe we will find a downed UFO or yeah, some some other sort of uh, resource. Maybe another smash and grab mission. Uh, so supply rate that is. But yeah, we will need that in order to build any further. 12 days until the Psylab is gone, uh, is done. That's not bad either. Once that's done, we immediately can upgrade it. And I'll put two uh, rookies in there so that we can finally have psionic characters. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoy the content, hit that like button and also leave a comment. Thank you and have a great one. Bye bye.